Welcome to Kids Do Positive Things. musician and co-producer of the Kids Do Positive Things Show. We are on site at the Benjamin L. Hook Central Library located in Memphis, Tennessee. We are here to learn more about a brand new project called Cloud 901. Cloud 901 will be a new state-of-the-art teen learning lab free for kids ages 13 through 18. Let's go inside and see what Cloud 901 is all about. Now joining me on the set is Mrs. Janae Pitts Murdoch, Teen Service Coordinator, and Thea Wilkins-Reed president of the Teen Advisory Council. Welcome to the Kids Do Positive Things Show. Thank you, Cleveland, good to be here. Thank you for allowing us to come out to the library today and talk about this exciting new project. Um, this is a major youth development project for the library and the city of Memphis. Could you, the, I'm sure the kids are very excited about the new technology. Um, will you take a moment to introduce yourselves and tell us your roles at the library? Sure, sure. Thea, would you like me to go first or would you like to go first? You can go first. All right. Um, I am Janae Pitts Murdoch mm -hmm. and I'm the Teen Services Coordinator for the Memphis Public Library and Information Center, which means that I get to work with amazing young people like Thea and you um, in coordinating the programs for teens at our 18 locations. At every location in the Memphis Library System, we have resources for teens. Um, not just books on a shelf, but we also have audio books, we've got music that you can download, and we offer programs at our various locations as well. So um, I get the joy of coordinating the programs, and um, you'll hear more about this a little later, um, the Cloud 901 construction and program development is also under my area of responsibility. Cool. And my name is Thea Wilkins-Reed, and I am the president of the Teen Advisory Council. The Teen Advisory Council, which was put together last year, it's, um, it's made up of 13 teen members, and we get together for monthly meetings, and we talk about teen programs that we want to help put together at the library, mm -hmm. and we're advised by Ms. Janae. And so we work on those programs, um, we give our feedback about programs, and just different stuff to really help bring teens into the library. Ms. Janae, what community leaders are involved with the making of this project? We have so many uh, partners that are not only a part of our government, mm -hmm. uh, but also our uh, community-based organizations. Um, we've got amazing partners from the local educational institutions. So University of Memphis, Rhodes, Christian Brothers, Southwest um, Community College, um, Memphis College of Art. Did I say University of Memphis? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and they're all helping us to ensure that the resources and services we provide inside of Cloud 901 will be top notch and will be attractive and meaningful for our our teen customers. Great. Um, is this project a part of the Mayor AC Warden Initiative Program for teens? Absolutely. I'm so glad you asked that question. Um, Mayor Warden is very intentional um, and is very passionate about mm -hmm. uh, providing substantive and productive opportunities for the teens in our community. Um, Mayor Wharton has a very robust strategy to engage teens in not only um, our city's um, economic system, mm -hmm. but also to provide as much opportunity for educational learning. Uh, and the library's Cloud 901 initiative is just one piece of the mayor's overall strategy to help improve the lives of our teens. Cool. Thea, can you tell us a little bit more about the Teen Advisory Council? Sure, absolutely. Um, well, with the Advisory Council, we recently, in November, we helped host um, 
teen up 901 it was a TED talk teen TED talks and so we had food and a bunch of teens came and we had we had uh, TV monitors that played TED Talks, which was super cool. And so we had a lot of teens come that were interested in that. And we got to meet new kids, which was really fun. We're actually in the process right now of planning an art and open mic night here at the library for teens, mm -hmm. which will be super cool for teens who are big into art or really want to get their work out that they do if they're into poetry and stuff like that, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we helped with the ground baking event. A lot of us came. I was a part of it and got to give a wonderful speech. And we got to meet the mayor, which is super excited when we unveiled Cloud 901. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite name. I was so excited. We actually helped with the naming of the lab. We helped come down to the final decisions. We all, the teen council as a group, picked out names that we liked. And we sent those to the mayor. And, you know, he picked the final one, which is really cool. Um, and so in addition to our meetings, when we get together, we help... Um, programming, if there's a specific program that we think that teens will really like, we help push those forward. And as I said, we help provide feedback for programs that we think that teens will really be interested in and want to become involved in. Great. So. Ms. Janae, how did the idea for the Learning Lab come about? You know, um, libraries are changing. Mm -hmm. They are no longer just a place where books are held, but it's a place where people come together and learn and grow and connect. Um, and so there is a movement happening all over the country where libraries are becoming spaces where you can make things. Um, and the Memphis Public Library is no different, except that um, we are leading the charge. Um, we are um, creating Cloud 901, which is an 83 300 square foot creative production space. Mm -hmm. um, it will be the best because Memphis just rocks like that, right? Mm -hmm. But um, it will really be the best that uh, that Memphis has to offer our teen customers, especially um, inside of our library system. Um, it will be a space with a sound mixing lab for musicians and artists who want to lay vocal tracks, um, who want to lay audio tracks, the, the poet who wants to lay some spoken word tracks. We've got a video production lab. Wow. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, young artisans like yourself can come in and, you know, create your own television shows or video podcasts, short films, commercials. Um, we will also have an art studio for those students who um, want to paint or draw and really get their hands dirty um, in creative uh, exploration. There is a maker space with 3D printers, vinyl cutters, and wood cutters um, for those young people who want to build things. And so um, in addition to learning the technology that feeds the 3D printer, you know, teens will also get the opportunity to use their, uh, their innovative side to develop new products and items. There is a gaming zone for the wow, gamers. That's cool. <laughs> Do you play video games? Um, yes, ma'am. Do you play video games? Well, Yes. Well, and you no. can play video yes and games no. in Cloud Nine. At my friend's house, I play video games, but not at my house. Not at your like, house. Like I'm a Mario kid. I'm oh, all okay. about Mario Kart and Super Mario. Bros. You know what? Well, <laughs> we might have to get Mario just for Thea. Please. But, Thea's um, Mario. There's a gaming zone inside Cloud Nine Hundred One for gamers who want to come and you know um, improve their skill but also it's an opportunity for us to provide workshops and seminars so we can teach teens how to create their own video games so that you can learn how to be information creators and not just information consumers That's cool. um, you know you have the opportunity to you know compete with others on a video game that you produced. How awesome would that be, That'd right? Be cool. Yeah. Then let's see, what else do we have? Um, we also will have a high-tech treehouse, which is the space where our graphic design programs will take place. So young people who are interested in graphic design in a animation, illustration, they'll be able to do those types of activities there. There's a tech gallery where we'll display all of the artwork that teens produce. There's also a tool checkout. So if you need to check out a tablet, a laptop, headphones for the recording studio, um, or any type of other gear that you would need in the mm -hmm. space, you can do that there. So tons of wonderful things that are happening inside the lab. and. Um, you know, this is all a part of a movement that's happening across the country where right. libraries are no longer just a place to read, but a place to engage, a place to grow, a place to connect. To fellowship. Um, yeah. yeah. Fellowship is a good word. Yes, yep. <laughs> Long answer for a short question. Cool. Thank you for joining us and we'll be right back.
The Kids Do Positive Things organization has created an exciting and innovative new way to reach out to the kids in our communities. The KDPT show is designed to highlight kids in a positive way. The show focuses on education, arts, academics, sports, and music. We want to strengthen our city and communities with positive energy from our youth. Through the Kids Do Positive Things TV show, we can encourage thousands of kids to set goals, pursue their dreams, and be the best they can be. The Kids Do Positive Things organization is a local 501c3 nonprofit organization benefiting kids ages 5 to 17. We are asking business leaders, school officials, youth organizations, parents, and most of all, kids to get involved and partner with the Kids Do Positive Things organization. Your sponsorship and donations are welcome to benefit the ongoing efforts of this program. For more information on sponsorship and or donations, please go to our website at kdptshow.com. Thank you. We are back on set talking about the new Teen Learning Lab, Cloud 901. Ms. Janae, the Cloud 901 will consist of two floors. Could you tell the kids what to expect? Absolutely. Cloud 901 is going to be an exciting space for teens ages 13 to 18. And it is two floors, like you said, Cleveland. Mm -hmm. So the first floor, the first floor will have the sound mixing lab, which is like a recording studio where you can come and record music. If you're a poet, you can record poetry tracks. If you're interested in audio engineering, you can be the person who is running the show in the control room, helping while the teens are laying down their music. So there's the sound mixing lab, and then also on the first floor is the video production lab. And like I was telling you earlier, Cleveland, mm -hmm. that's the space where teens can not only be the talent in front of the camera, but the talent behind the camera. Because there's so many different roles that a person can play while trying to produce a television show or while trying to produce a short film. So you can learn to be the talent in front of the camera or even the producer and director behind the camera. You can edit your video clips, you can um, mix music in with it. So that's the first floor. Also on the first floor is a lounge area with bean bags and chairs so you can connect on your tablets or your phones. Um, there's also a play cafe where you can grab a quick snack if you want to you know get a soda or some chips or something just to kind of get yourself ready for what else is going to be happening inside the space the second floor is where more fun happens that's where the dream catcher is the dream catcher is the space where you can lay back and look up at the sky and there's a constellation you can relax and enjoy sort of kind of looking at nature there's also an art studio where if you like to paint to draw um, if you like to illustrate you can do that inside the art studio there's the um, what else? What else? There's so much. There's a stage. There's, There's a performance, performance stage. stage. Yes. Cool. Thea's favorite space. That's my favorite. Oh, I'm so excited. So the performance that. stage is where teens who want to perform music that they did in the sound mixing lab mm -hmm. or who might be interested in starting a business, they can come to the stage and pitch an idea. If you're a poet, you know, our poetry slams, our karaoke nights, our open mic nights will happen on the performance stage. It's also a great place for colleges to come to do info sessions 
for young people who are thinking about college. You can learn more about school, about financial aid, the process to apply for college. It's also where uh, professionals will come in and talk about careers and how you can prepare yourself for an interview or how you can write a resume. So all of these things will happen performance stage. Then there is the gaming zone, right? I talked about gaming zone. Yes. Play video games, learn to write video games, coding, website design, high tech treehouse, where if you like to, if you're interested in illustration and animation, you can get into graphic design at the high tech treehouse. There's the maker space, 3D printers, um, where you can learn how to print things into 3D. So you know some of the things you can make with a 3D printer? You can make your own cell phone case. You can make, um, yeah, well, <laughs> right. He is cracking jokes over here. Um, you know, other things you can make with a with a three D printer. Um, you can create, you know, cabinets. You can, you know, there's some technology that can actually even duplicate human body parts. But we won't be doing that in our lab. But we will have three D printers, vinyl cutters, wood cutters for those of you who are interested in building things. Then there is a collaboration zone mm -hmm. with writable walls where if you're working on a project together, you can actually write on the wall um, as you're working through your project. I left anything out? Creation stations for folks interested in newspaper or magazine layouts or fashion design. If you're interested in robotics, you can, you know, build robots. Ah, oh, there's so much. That, yeah, much there is obviously like, a lot. It really yeah. is cloud 901. There's something for everyone to Something do. for everyone. Uh, something for everyone ages 13 to 18. <laughs> it sounds like a really good resource for kids to have. How can the community and parents get involved with Cloud 901 to make sure it's successful? That's a great question. Um, there are several things that the community can do. Mm -hmm. First of all, the community can share information with others that Cloud 901 is coming. Um, we will open in August of 2015, just um, a short time from now. And uh, we want the community to share this information that this, uh, this wonderful creative production space is being constructed for teens inside the Benjamin L. Hook Central Library. So one of the first things that community members can do is spread the word. The other thing that the community can do is help us um, to raise money. There is still a little bit further that we have to go to raise the money for the lab. Um, everything inside the lab is funded by private donations. So individuals, companies, and organizations um, who want to invest in the future. And so uh, not only can you help us by spreading the word, you can help us by um, you know, investing financially in the project. But then also the other way that you can help us is by considering to volunteer, considering sharing um, expertise and experience with the teens who'll be in the space. So if you've got um, expertise in graphic design, in arts education, in music production, in video production, um, all of those types of things, you can share your expertise with teens inside um, the Teen Learning Lab. And last but not least, the other way you can help us is to bring your teens to the lab. Cool. Yeah. Mrs. Janae Piss Murdoch and Thea Wilkins Reed, it's been a pleasure meeting you. But wait, wait, we can't end yet. You have to tell me what you want to do in the lab. Well, I would like to, the um, stage sounds really cool. Um, the gaming zone sounds unbelievable. And um, I would love to try out the 3D printer. Ah, Sounds that's cool. wonderful. And we are going to do all of that. Ooh. Well, it has been a pleasure meeting you, Thank and you. we cannot wait for the opening of Cloud 901. Thank you. Hi, my name is Thea Wilkins Reed, president of the Teen Advisory Council. And on behalf of the Advisory Council, I hope you guys are as excited about Clyde 901 as we are. The Teen Advisory Council is working to bring programs right here to the library, whether it be ACT or SAT prep classes, baking competitions, art competitions, open mic night, poetry slam, and much more. Cloud 901 is going to be a place where we can pursue and work and excel at our dreams and passions. It'll be a place where anything is possible. We'll have access to top-of-the-line technology for free right here in the heart of Memphis. It's a place where we can ask questions and be able to seek advice and help. 
I mean, here at Cloud 901, the sky is the limit. There is nothing we can't achieve here at Cloud 901. It'll be a place where we can grow and learn and really be, come together as a community. So I hope to see all of you at Cloud 901 coming this August.
Kids, we want to thank you for watching the show. This show was created just for you, to empower you, to inspire you, and to encourage you. Remember, you are an amazing kid. Just dream big. We can change the world. Just be a positive kid. Oh, and don't forget, kids do positive things. Hi, I'm Cleveland, and I'm 13 years old. I wanted to take a moment to say we have some great kids in the community. I'm going to keep telling you to be the best you can be. There are amazing opportunities out there for you to get involved with sports, workshops, church activities, and many other things to help you build your future. Figure out what you like doing and work hard at it. If you need help, email the KDPT Show at kdptshow at gmail.com. We will help you. I will help you. My goals are to keep working hard to get better at everything I do. School and academics, of course, are first. Talk to your parents and counselors. Kids, if we work together, we can do a lot of positive things in our community. If you need help, email the KDPT Show at kdptshow at gmail.com.